Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of my POV series. Today is actually going to be very interesting because I'm shooting in a location that I've never shot in before at all. My girlfriend and I are taking a trip up to Nashville, Tennessee to visit a couple of friends, and I figured that this would be the perfect situation to completely ditch my friends entirely for a few hours to do some street photography in a busy city that actually has people in it, unlike the city that I live in. I've actually never been to Nashville before, but I've seen a lot of Joe Greer's work around the Nashville streets, and I'm super excited to get out there and take some street photos. So I actually made a tiny little photo bucket list that I wanna get while I'm down there. I have no idea if I'll run into these things, but based off of the things that I know about the downtown area and the pictures that I've seen before, I think there's a decent chance that I'll run into this. Obviously, I want to get pictures of people in cowboy hats and cowboy boots. I pretty much expect to be able to get that. I don't think that will be too terribly hard. But the other thing that I want to get is I actually want to get a bride in her wedding dress just on the downtown strip with the neon lights in the back and just people minding their own business and going about their days. Something about a woman in a wedding dress just in a downtown street just is so contradictory to me and I think that'll make a really interesting photo. I'm so excited to drive up there and visit my friends and also get some street photos done, so let's go ahead and jump into the POV.
Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh damn. It's so fast. I think yeah. you have one more try, don't yeah. you? Get this. That was the warm up. Look, there's a hot dog one back there. Do you see? Dude, no. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> what? Ah, what do I do? Let's get this fish. Dude, back. I don't even know. Yeah, I do. Please. Kelsey Smith Photography. Kelsey Smith Photography. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I just wanted to follow you. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Oh, let me get it. All right, three, two, one. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Oh, this is actually a film camera, oh, so oh I can't God, show wait, it to you. Okay, but... that's what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. That's the shit I like. Yeah, so if... You can follow Kelsey Smith Photography if you want to. Yeah, K-E-L-S-E-Y. I'm also filming a video, so y'all are in it. <laughs> yeah, you're in the video. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? I like your hat. Right, let me get it real quick. Perfect, thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Kelsey Smith Photography. Yeah, it's K-E-L-S-E-Y. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's an M6. That's sick. I also have an F1. That's my second favorite camera. Oh, you do? Yeah. Y'all got anything good, you think? Uh, yeah, I love days like this. So at this point I've shot several rolls of film and I'm down to my last one which actually is a 20 year expired Fuji Superior 1600. I got this roll of film for my girlfriend's dad. I know that he stored this film in a freezer since he got it so it should be in good condition but with it being 1600 speed and it's 20 years expired there's a lot of variables there that could make this not work so 
just keep in mind if these look underexposed or super grainy that that's just a characteristic of a 20 year old expired film. And regardless, I still hope you enjoy the images. So I was there to visit a couple of friends. They actually are artists in Nashville and they haven't released their first project yet, but they're phenomenal DJs and I can't wait to hear their first project. The name of their group is Rosed Music and I will link them in the description below, but I was actually their photographer for a house show that they did while I was there. Um, that was the main reason that I went up to Nashville. Now with the lighting situation, it was super, super dark. So I kind of didn't really have a choice but to shoot digital because I did not have high enough ISO film and I didn't really want to have to shoot black and white. So I'm going to include some of those here in this next segment, but uh, just keep in mind that they're dirty, dirty digital photos. And I'm sorry for corrupting your film safe space with these disgusting digital images, but I hope you enjoy them regardless. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would really help me out. And you can also feel free to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free, it really helps me out, and it'll make sure that you stay up to date with all of my videos. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram, I post there pretty regularly. And you can also follow me on Twitter where, disclaimer, I always state this, I post mostly garbage, but I also post film photographs there sometimes as well, and I always like interacting with other film photographers on that site. You can also visit my print shop. I've got the link in the description below. Uh, you can get a gift for a friend or for yourself or just view them and buy nothing. Either way, thank you so much for visiting my site, and you can check out the images there if you'd like. And finally, as always, leave me a comment with either your favorite picture, what you'd like to see in a future video, any critique or criticism, or anything else that you can possibly think of. I always respond to every single comment and I love the interaction. So thank you so much for everyone who comments. Again, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me in today's video. Have a great rest of your day.